So, guys, let's knock this video out really, really quick because I want to watch You Are Here um, with Elijah Schaefer and Sydney Watson because Blood White is on there tonight. So, obviously, go do check that out. I will be in the comments section. Australia is about to lock unvaccinated people down and you can't even go to work. Oh, really now? Conspiracy theorists for the win. Um, at the end of the day, obviously, guys, this is absolutely getting insane. America is looking more and more freer by the day. And I think my parents are starting to realize that because they're starting to wonder about my American friends. And I've made some passing comments about possibly moving to America if Australia doesn't change course. And all of a sudden, my parents are starting to get a little bit worried. But that's another video for another day. We're going to see what happens to the election first before that. But Australia state introduces COVID lockdown for the unvaccinated where you apparently can't even go to work. So that's going to be interesting because at the end of the day, uh, welcome to the crash of the economy. Yes, that's right. If you can go through and apparently not be able to go to work because you're unvaxxed, well, um, okay, I'm sure bosses are going to be happy with this. But let's jump into the video. Unvaxxers living in Australia will state, uh, Australian state will face a four-day lockdown from today after a surge in COVID infections. Now, notice they're still talking about infections. Not talking about deaths. They're talking about infections. Why? Because the death rate is minuscule. It really, really is. I'm not a doctor, not giving medical advice, but the death rate from this new variant is very, very minor. Um, actually, uh, let's see if we can. So the average death is five for the whole of Australia. Five people in a day, and that's high considering what it was like two, you know. So, yeah, um, let's jump to Northern Territory. Northern Territory has had two deaths in the past month. Three months. D do you think this is happens to be about public safety, or do you think there's another agenda behind this? It, it really does make you wonder why they are pushing so hard for people to get vaxxed. It really does. Like, I know there's that theory going around that there's an alternative me method behind it, an alternative, med uh, alternative uh, uh, motive. At the moment, I'm starting to wonder. Because originally, I thought that was a lot of BS. I was like, oh, they're not going to do that, right? No, I don't want that to be true. My mum and dad have got the vax, right? I don't want them dropping. But at the end of the day, when they start pushing so hard for two deaths in three months, it really does make you wonder, right? Um, like Northern Territory, um, let's go to, like, say, Queensland. There's one death. Okay, that's a lot. That's, well, that's a lot. Let's go to Victoria. Victoria has, like, six in a state of how many million people? Like, where is New South Wales? Like, New South Wales, it's... Five? Five deaths? Like, considering how many people, it's not a lot. It's really, really not. But anyway. So those in Northern Territory who have not had a uh, vaccine will not be able to leave their homes unless under strict conditions. For exclusion of the essential... So, the only reason you can leave your home is to do shopping, medical treatment, or including vaccination, or to provide care. So, Chief, medical, uh, Chief Minister Michael Gunn uh, said those who have not been vaccinated are also, to, uh, are also banned from going outside to work or exercise. 
you know, the exercise, the one thing that actually stops you from or actually helps you supposedly get better and helps your immune system fight it. The thing that, that, that has a very minuscule chance of transmitting. They won't let you do that. So in other words, they want you to sit at home, verge out in front of the TV, eating food, getting fat, while the COVID morbidity for this this virus is obesity is one is one of the reasons is obesity. So stay home, eat food, get fat, don't exercise. And um, by the way, one of the risks of you dying from this is actually because you got fat. That that. But hey, don't worry, it's for your own safety. The lockout will last until the 12, uh, 12 p.m. on Monday when a vaccination passport system is set to be introduced. Funny that, isn't it? The state has also requested access to committees with low vaccination rates to residents and essential workers who require negative rapid antigen test results before traveling. It comes as state records 256 new infections overnight, but the death toll is, um, oh, yeah. Of the new cases, 27 are a result of a community transmitted and 10 infections are known in close contacts. Another 112 remain under investigation, 107 in arrivals. Right. International rivals, 107. That comes uh, just days after Notre announced the rivals who are fully vaxxed no longer have to show evidence of negative PCR test taken 72 hours before entering the state. Instead, they can do a rapid antigen test upon arrival, self-test, and report and, re and report their results within two hours. Mind you, this is the one th the, the state that has 107 cases from interstate travel. So, 107 people from interstate have traveled to Northern Territory with COVID and possibly infected other people, but don't worry about doing a test or quarantining or anything like that because we're worried about your safety. But by the way, also, we're going to lock you in the house if you're not vaxxed because of your safety. A am I getting this right? It is anybody else seeing that this is not about being vac and this is not about public safety this is not about health and safety or stopping the spread or anything like that this is about people who have given the middle finger to the government like yours truly and said f you i'm not going to get vaxxed and the government is literally doing that of a a four-year-old girl who's sitting there going why won't you get vaxxed mommy they're not listening to me that, that's the equivalent of the Northern Territory government right now. Is literally sitting in the middle of a room, pounding on the ground. Oh, mommy, the, the vaxxers. The people aren't getting the vax. It's not fair. Literally chucking a tantrum. That's the Northern Territory Police Department. That's the Northern Territory government. And they can suck a dick. I don't know. Just the way I feel about it. You can go suck my dick. Because I'm not getting it. And the more you do stuff like this, the more people like me are going to sit there, give you the finger, and say, F you, I'm not listening to you. And by the way, all these people that are like, three months ago are like, yeah, you should totally get it. It's good. And now sitting there thinking, uh, hang on. You're now locking people out of going to their job? Okay, maybe maybe we should wind this back a little bit. You are actually building up the resistance to people wanting to get the vax. Because you're sitting there, like a four-year-old girl, on the ground, chucking a tantrum because people aren't rushing out and getting your vax. So like I said, suck my dick. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Apart from that, guys, obviously this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.